Hey guys, it's Kevin e back again this week, your DIY chick. Um, today we have a pot in the front of our nursery that I want to redo. If you saw my video last week, I redid a front bed that we had. Just It had a lot of old stuff from the winter time that just needed to be out of there. Same with this guy. So if you guys have any big pots or just any small pots around your house that just needs to be redone, that kind of look like this, kind of, you know, scraggly and have a lot of old things that just don't look good, this will be the perfect video to watch uh, to kind of rejuvenate it and get you some nice plants in there. So I'm going to start by taking these old plants out. Um, you're going to run into a lot of roots getting these guys out, so make sure you get the proper tools. Um, I got this small trowel here because you're going to want to dig deep to get all, a lot of those old roots out. You can kind of see this guy is really hard to get out of here. He's been in here, I think, twice, you know, since we we redid this pot twice now and he's been in here. All right. <laughs> You're going to want to get all these old roots out of here and if you take out a lot of the soil, go ahead and uh, get some new soil. If it's really rooty, go ahead and get some new soil in there too to give it a nice fresh start. I have some fertilizer here. This is a Spoma Biotone. I really like this. This is really good if you're going to um, put a new plant in your uh, soil. It gets the roots stimulated, get your plants nice and uh, thriving and it gets it going. So I'm going to go ahead and churn some of that in my soil as well. I just like churning it because I, I just know that it's going to get everywhere in the soil and the soil is going to be nice and, nice and healthy, especially since this is old soil. So I got that all set up. So now the next thing you want to do, if you haven't done this already, is pick out your plants. And what I have over here I have some salvia that I'm going to put in the middle, some blue days. It's a really nice summer plant. All these guys are great for the summer. I got some sweet potato vine, which is going to be nice and green. This plant comes in all kinds of colors. It comes in purple. It comes in uh, like a greenish pink kind of color. Um, comes in variations of green. It's a really nice one. And then we have the um, Persian Shield Hill, which is a really nice textured plant. It'll give us some um, color variation. What I like to do with my pots, I kind of think about it like this way. You got your thriller, spillers, and fillers. This is my thriller. He's going to be nice and tall. He's going to be the centerpiece of the plant. I got my spillers. Both of these guys are spillers. Um, spillers meaning these guys are going to cascade on the side. These guys are going to be nice and long for you. Both of these guys have this effect. And then we have our filler, which is going to be our Persian shield. And I'm going to kind of act like the blue uh, days is going to be kind of uh, our filler as well. He's going to go on top of the uh, potato vine, so he's going to act like a filler. But other fillers you can use, uh, marigolds, those little four-inch plants that you see people kind of put in between spots uh, where you have gaps and things like that, those are going to be your fillers. So what I'm going to do, like I did the, with the flower bed from the last video, I'm going to go ahead and lay it out just so I can see, you know, how I want it to look and I can kind of move things around before actually planting it. I'm going to do these guys kind of in the center. This guy here on the side. I'm actually going to try to squeeze in the potato vine right in the front because what I want it to do I want it to kind of mesh with the um, blue days. So this guy's going to kind of hang down um, below, and then your blue days is going to hang down right on top of it. And I kind of want them to grow intertwined together. I just think it's going to be such a pretty effect while it grows. So I'm going to try to squeeze him right in there. And same with this guy on the back. All right. And like I said, if you do have any gapage, you can use some little four inch plants. Um, if you do have some room too, just keep in mind they're also going to grow. So don't be afraid, like it's going to look bare or whatever um, when you first plant it. These guys are going to grow and fill in. Going to do our thriller first, which is going to go right in the middle. With the thriller, you can either put him right in the centerpiece or you can put him towards the back. Depending on uh, what kind of pot you have, if you have something that's against the door or against the wall, you want to put your filler, or excuse me, your thriller towards the back. This guy, since he's kind of all around, I'm going to do him right in the middle. Dig out your hole. 
And you want to get it a little bit bigger than the container that it's already in. I got this guy. I'm going to turn him upside down just to get him out the pot. It's a little bit of root bound, so I'm just, you know, loosen up his roots just a little bit. We just had a good rain here, so it's nice and wet. It's a little deep, so I'm going to put some soil in there. And this is a salvia, which is a butterfly plant. So we're going to get lots of butterflies with this. Hummingbirds are attractors to this. It's going to be really pretty um, tall purple kind of flower on it. Almost looks like a lavender flower, and I think that's why I like it so much, because I love lavender. Okay, so now that we got that guy in, I'm going to go ahead and get the blue days in here, and he's going to be on either side of this guy. This is our blue days. He's acting as a spiller slash filler in this pot. I'm actually going to take off some of the roots and some of the soil because he's going to be squeezed in there. You can see I just lift this guy back up and kind of push this guy, all of the soil back on top of it and it kind of fills in that hole. And you could do that at the very end if you want to too. If you have another container, you can scoop some of the soil out, out at one time. You could do that, put your plants in and then cover them all up at one time versus doing it one by one and you're kind of taking the soil back out again each time. All right, let's see if I can squeeze in this sweet potato on this side. And I love this sweet potato vine. He actually grows sweet potatoes underneath the soil. So you will see um, if you do take this guy out in a few weeks, he will have a sweet potato underneath, maybe even a few. And he gets really fluffy. So if you're looking for a plant that acts as a really good spiller, this guy is really lovely because he gets really long and really fluffy, really fluffy. So he's a really good one. Squeeze that guy right down in there. Okay, throw him down over there. Just pack it in so he's really in there with the soil. The soil's wet so our leaves got kind of mucky. We'll give him a good rinse down when we're done though. This guy can, can get kind of tall, but I'm going to give him his own little section over here so that way he can kind of grow outwards and give this whole side a nice little effect. Fire truck that passed us. <laughs> On this back side, I'm going to do the same as I did with these guys. I'm going to do the blue days first. And that's this guy, and he is a full sun plant. Uh, make sure you pick all the right plants for your area. Most of these guys are full sun. The Persian shield is kind of part sun. We have all these palm trees around in this side, so he'll do just fine. So just make sure you pick all the appropriate things. Take some of the soil off. Lastly, I'm going to hop down over here. I feel so short on this side because I'm not on top of that pedestal. We have him right here by our front entrance of the nursery. Dump some of the soil back in. I'm patting it down just to make sure there's no holes where soil so I can put some soil in it. 
make sure there's no holes where they, um, there isn't soil. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of it. And the last thing you want to do is water them in. Like the last video, these guys are pretty stressed out, especially with me mushing all the roots and everything around. And that'll give it a good hose down because you can see, because it, it is a little wet out here. A lot of the soil has gotten all over the leaves and you can get a real look of how, how the plant looks. So let me grab the hose. <laughs> Alright guys, so here you have it. I've rinsed off my plants. Um, they look really good. I can't wait to see them fill in. It's going to be nice and super full. These guys are going to cascade. They're going to have that crazy wild look. So I'm super excited and I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I'll do like a recap a few weeks from now just to see, let you know how it's grown in. You can see how it's grown in. Um, but just keep in mind, you got your thrillers, your spillers, and um, your fillers as well when it comes to um, planting up pots. So um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, we have other playlists as well. So if you like landscaping or ponds, take a look at those. And we're also on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you guys.